All right, guys, I want to talk today about something that's very important, not just for uh, jiu-jitsu athletes. You can see them in my gi pants and my rash guard. Um, any kind of athletics. You know, me, uh, my kickbox, I uh, do jiu-jitsu, obviously. I power lift, you know, heavy weightlifting. I do kettlebell work. And the thing is, when you're, when you're active in all these activities, it, it takes a toll on your body. You know, I'm 36 now. Obviously, I don't recover the same way I did 10 years ago when I was 26. But for the most part, uh, my body holds up pretty well. And one of the reasons being is I'm big on recovery. Okay, recovery is just like it sounds. It's how your body recovers from whatever stress is put on it. Now, the purpose of this video today is I'm trying to give you guys thing, you know, advice on how to help recovery, how to aid it, okay? Now, to my left here, I have a foam roller, okay? You guys have seen these at, at gyms everywhere. Um, great tool. You can use it before workouts to loosen up your tight muscles. I tend to um, use it after, especially when I squat or deadlift. Um, again, this isn't an instruction on how to use this, but you know, you can put this here, all parts of your legs, your back, your lats. Rolling around on these breaks up loose knots and they keep you in good shape, you feel good. I've noticed when I used to do this before going to bed, I actually get a better sleep that night, you know, because it breaks up those knots and it helps the blood circulate and everything's about uh, blood flow uh, when it comes to recovery. Because you, you have micro tears in your muscles that happen when you train. And this can break, you know, this can break up adhesions and knots and help nutrient-rich blood flow to the areas it needs to flow to. You know, these can go anywhere from forty to a hundred dollars. Um, this is a rumble roller. If you can't afford these, go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Get a piece of PVC pipe. I have one. It hurts far more than this, and it's cheap, and it'll hold your weight. Okay. You know, get it about fourteen inches long like this, and you know there are plenty of videos out there on on how to use these. You know, I might do one later. I'm just kind of touching on it right now. This is one option. Another option, if you can afford it, is a massage gun. This thing was a gift that I got last year. This thing is amazing, okay? It's like it sounds, okay? You just put it wherever there's tightness. And it, it hits everything. I use it on my back, my legs, my glutes, my hamstrings, everything. This thing is a lifesaver. Now this is the, the Tim Tam. This ran me about $199. I mean, it was a gift, but that's what it cost. There are many other ones like this on the market. This thing's pretty cool. It opens up. I use this almost every day. And I'm, I'm a lot less sore than I used to be because of this. Um, definitely recommend getting one of these or saving up to get one. Okay. These personal massagers, because they can go more places. This is, you know, a lot. You know, this can't go specific places like this can. I can pinpoint anywhere I want with this. This is what makes this so good. Now again, you know, these cost money. Uh, other options, if you have access to sauna, uh, jacuzzi, you know, the, the hotter the heat, the better. It, it, it relaxes the muscles a lot. On the opposite end of that, um, cold, you know, take an ice bath. They suck, but they help. I've taken them. I can't last more than about two minutes. Those are free options, you know, a really hot bath uh, or a really cold bath can help. With that hot bath, maybe get some Epsom salts. You can get those at the 99 cent store throw those in there, soak in it for at least 20 minutes. I've done that more times than I can count over the years. Um, you know, lacrosse balls, um, you can get those at the store, you know, like it's just like a, like a tennis ball, but a lot harder. You, you put it on it and you lie on it. I mean, these are, these are a little more expensive. You know, the bath stuff is pretty much free. Everyone has access to a bathtub. Lacrosse balls are, are a cheap alternative. Um, and of course, stretching helps, but I would do stretching after this type of stuff. Because if I have really tight, hamstrings from doing deadlifts to just stretch out tight hamstrings can actually run the risk of a tear. It's better to break up the knots and the adhesions with this or with this then stretch it out. But you know the, the more you take care of your body it'll take care of you. It's the perfect machine. You know I don't feel my age. I feel good most mornings when I wake up and I accredit it to you know implements like that and a healthy diet because that's of course going to go a long way too. But remember guys uh, recovery is more important than the training sometimes because the improvement in our bodies doesn't occur while we're training, it occurs while we're recovering. And if you don't recover properly, we're never gonna reach where we can normally reach. You know, when you lift weights, you're getting you don't get stronger while you're lifting weights, you're actually breaking your body down. You know, and it's when you recover correctly and eat correctly that those micro tears heal up and they get stronger. And it's the same thing with jujitsu. You know, you beat up your body doing jujitsu for two hours every morning, you know, your body needs to recover. You know. You don't like, you know, this stuff helps. A lot of sleep helps too. Never neglect sleep. Okay, the more sleep you get, the better you're going to feel because you can go longer. Okay, so 
There are some ways where you guys can uh, aid in your recovery. Some are free, sleep, bath, you know, some are not free. But they're all play a big role in my recovery and they will with yours as well.